Hey guys, we are down in the basement today, and the reason we're down in the basement is because this is where I have my little thing set up for taking pictures of stuff, and uh, I got some pretty good lighting uh, versus being up in my bedroom. And we're going to do something that I haven't done before on camera, and I haven't done in many, many years. We are going to open up a Super Nintendo game, and we're going to open up a Virtual Boy game. Both of these are brand new, factory sealed games that never been opened before. I haven't opened a Virtual Boy game since, oh, geez, I don't know, 1996, maybe? And uh, I probably haven't opened a Super Nintendo game in probably about the same time frame. 1996, 1995, something like that. So, right now, uh, these aren't, like, super valuable or anything like that, and I'm opening them because, you know, I want to play them. So, being sealed, they don't really make too much of a difference, but they're also not super valuable. And you guys still, if you'd like to, get to see what's inside of them. So, right here we have Virtual League Baseball for the Virtual Boy. Um, this came out by Chemco. It was from 1995. And uh, it's just a general baseball game. Um, not as good as uh, some other baseball games that were on the system, but uh, still a solid baseball release. And then you have Vegas Stakes. Sorry about the lighting there. You got Vegas Stakes, which is essentially a Las Vegas gambling game. Uh, oops, knocking things over. But it says right here on the back of it, uh, risk it all live... Sorry, risk it all in live casino action. Check out... Check into your favorite hotel, meet up with your friends in the lobby, and you're ready to go. Place your bets, blackjack, slots, roulette, craps, seven-card stud poker, uh, promise fame and fortune. Parlay your stakes into a serious bankroll and shoot for the $10 million goal. So there you go. So, we're going to open these things up, and um, I'm just using my iPhone. And if anyone wants a quick tip on a really cheap uh, tripod for your iPhone, get yourself an empty cassette case. Just slide it right inside there, and you got yourself a... A perfect little tripod. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to slide it in there. There we go. Perfect. So we have Vegas. Actually, you know what? We'll do the Virtual Boy one first. We have Virtual Bo Virtual League Baseball for the Virtual Boy. So the best way to open this up would probably be down like this. So I'm just going to get a pair of scissors here. Let's see if I can get inside that lip there. There we go. Slice her open. And when you can see what's inside a virtual boy game sealed from the factory. So, let's open her up and see what we got. We have the game itself, and it is sealed, I don't know if it's sealed, no, it's just folded over in a little plastic baggie there. We have a cardboard insert to hold the game in place. Anything else inside of here? We have a, if you don't subscribe to Nintendo Power, you won't see it coming either, uh, advertisement for Nintendo Power. So there's that. And we have a so this is a warranty card. Oh, it's a response card. Please complete and return to Chemco. I wonder how many people actually did this. Chemco America. There you go. And anything else in here other than the instructions? We got the instructions. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep this on camera. Uh, Virtual Boy Information and Precautions Booklet. Uh, it's not really a booklet, it seems to be a giant fold-out, we don't need to look at that. And last but not least, we have the Virtual League Baseball Instruction Manual. And I thought these were all in black and white, but who knows. So yeah, there you go. So that is what comes inside of a brand new Virtual Boy game. So what we will do... I'll just put this back together here. Actually, I got this from uh, Star Soldier 1 at a recent swap meet that we both attended. That's where I picked up this game from. It's actually kind of nice if you can see inside of there. Oops. That's where all your manuals and stuff go. I know myself and other people kind of get annoyed when you uh, try and close up a boxed game and uh, you can't really do it that well because the flap gets in the way of where the manual stuff goes. 
So there's the uh, there's the game right there. There's your little cover there. Lock that back in place. Might as well put it back in the baggie. And there's that. Seal it back up. Well, not seal it, but close it back up. And there you go. That's the contents inside of a Virtual Boy game. All right. Now we're going to do Vegas Stakes for the Super Nintendo. I'm going to try and find a seam and repeat the process I did with the Virtual Boy game without uh, destroying anything. everything. Now you can tell this is old. I don't know how well you can see this or not, but that's all discolored and gross. Get that out of the way. Actually, I'm going to set this on the, in the garbage here because I don't need any of that tape or glue to get on the box. So I picked this up today um, from the Games Exchange, which is a local game store in the town that I live at. And uh, see if I can do the impossible. I don't ever... Uh, it's very difficult for me when I open these games. I put a, I always put a little indent in there for my finger catching it and then bending it and pulling it out. So it was nice to do that. So let's open this guy up and see what we got on the inside. Well, we have the game itself. So we'll take that out of there. And this just kind of goes to show everyone who, uh, likes to argue the basic, not the basic, but the fact that not all Super Nintendo games came with the game protector on the bottom of them, and this is proof that that is the case. Some people say, oh, they all came with them, blah, 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 blah. But man, that is a pristine condition Super Nintendo game if I've ever seen one. Wow, look at that. I hope you guys can see that all right. There's not a uh, single flaw in that uh, cartridge there. Beautiful brass connectors on the inside. Hopefully you guys can see that too. And uh, just a nice overall condition cartridge. Wow, that's actually, feels beautiful. So we will just set that off to the side there. Let's see what else we got in here. We have a Consumer Information and Precautions booklet, which is just your general run-of-the-mill crap. I've actually never seen this one before. Hungry. Great <laughs> great gaming information doesn't come in a can. I've never seen this one before. That's cool. Nintendo Power. I think all that stuff is just the manual for it. And you got the manual right here. Vegas Stakes Manual. It's obviously in very good condition because we just opened the box. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So, yeah. That's what you get when you open up a Super Nintendo game. And I'm glad we could dispel the one myth regarding the little cartridge protector, the dust protector or whatever that a myth that people like to perpetrate that all games came with them, and I know that they didn't, and so do most people, but some people like to argue for the sake of arguing, I guess. Well, yeah, there you go. So, if you guys want a sealed copy of Vegas Stakes, you can get one at the Games Exchange. <laughs> it's got a few of them available right now. So, there we go. So you have Virtual League Baseball, and Vegas Stakes for the Super Nintendo. So thanks a lot guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, maybe share it with your friends if your friends want to know what a Super Nintendo game looks like. Now I'm going to take this propane torch and I'm going to burn the... No, I'm just joking. See you guys later.